Harris County voters took a big step in moving forward over the weekend, approving a flood bond to protect the area from future storms. More than 200 flood mitigation projects are going to be funded by this $2.5 billion relief bond. Our question tonight, which projects will county leaders tackle first? Channel 2's Lee Ferlisi joining us live tonight with what comes next for the money raised in this flood bond. Lee? Bill and Dominique, they are choosing the projects that they could get done the fastest for their first round. One example right behind me, the channels that will lead into the Attics and Barker Reservoirs will be improved. But first, they needed approval for the funding. While turnout was low, just 6.6% of registered voters came out to vote on the flood bond. It was a low turnout, but it was about the same turnout as last year's November 2017 statewide election in Harris County for constitutional amendments. Yet approval was high for this $2.5 billion bond. 85% approvals. Right. Pretty good result. Yeah. Now we're getting a look at the projects the Flood Control District would like to tackle first. These 14 projects will go before Commissioner's Court tomorrow for approval. Right by Ellington Field, we're going to look at the drainage areas in the neighborhoods. The first round of projects picked already had studies done or land bought, so those projects could move forward quickly. Take Greens Bayou and Cutton Road. There is a uh, uh, an existing basin that we've been working on for years. We've never had enough money to be able to fully excavate that detention basin. And then there's a project that will affect a lot of people on the west side. People will see a big difference when those projects get underway. With all the flooding the west side experienced after the controlled releases of attics and Barker reservoirs, a major cleanup of the channels is on the list. There's 30 different channels that drain to attics and Barker reservoir on the west side that filled up with silt and sediment after the tax day flood in 2016 and, and even more after Harvey. The commissioner's court will be asked to give their stamp of approval tomorrow. There won't even be any discussion. I mean, it'll just go through. So over the next couple of weeks, we should have a timeline on all of the projects and we will bring that to you when we get it. Also, to see a list of these first 14 projects, go to click2houston.com. We'll have all the information right there. We're live in Southwest Harris County, Lee Ferlisi, KPRC, Channel 2 News.